Hello, Los Angeles. Welcome, Louis Zamperini. Zamperini competed in the 1936 Berlin Games and later served in World War II. After he was in a plane crash, he then survived 47 days on the open sea, only to be captured by the Japanese. Zamperini's story, told by Laura Hillenbrand in the best-selling book, Unbroken. What mistakes were made? For one, their plane, the Green Hornet, part of the U.S. Navy, crashed as they were out on a dangerous mission. Planes at the time of the crash were only equipped with minimal survival situation gear. On the life draft, one of the men panics and eats all the survival chocolate in one sitting. The men, Louis the Bombardier, Phil the Pilot, and Mac the Tail Gunner, did not prepare for a crash or an extreme survival situation. What skills were used to help them survive? Each of the men, with the exception of the one who ended up dying, were able to complete what they needed to do without panic. The engineer waited until the last minute to pull the life draft so that it was close enough to the crash for the men to get on successfully. They knew how to properly hydrate themselves. They only drank rainwater and, if needed, their urine. They were able to use their survival skills to kill and eat birds, different types of fish, and were able to fend off sharks. The men used their knowledge from survival training to eat the proper parts of each animal to avoid getting sick. What lessons have you learned from this story? We learned that you must be fully prepared for any circumstance before setting out on any type of excursion. As demonstrated in this story, panicking is the worst possible thing that one can do in an extreme survival situation. Also, that in survival situations, knowledge, perseverance, and a positive mindset is the key to survival. What would you have done differently? And how would you do things better? First, we would have had more accessible survival items stored on the life raft. As well, we would have made sure that everyone stayed calm. Lastly, we would have had more means of communication available with the base and other planes, though at the time this was not available due to the lack of technology. Who rescued them, and what was the rescuer's background? After a long, grueling 47 days stranded on a life raft in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the two men were finally rescued by a Japanese ship. The rescuer's background was of a Japanese militant battleship. Although they were not rescued by Americans, the military tried to search for the men for a week. They sent out search planes to find the wreckage of the plane or the men who survived, but they were unsuccessful. Whoa, 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 the what technologies were used to help the rescue? No technology rescued the men as they were stranded afloat for 47 days, and in the time period in which this story took place, there was not a lot of technology available. You learn perseverance and running. Right in the middle of almost giving up, you try again and again until you overcome. And that's important in the war, too. The determination to come out first, to come out alive. Zamperini's miraculous journey of resilience is one of the most inspirational stories ever known. It became a best-selling book that touched millions who have drawn upon its strength including filmmaker Angelina Jolie, who now brings the remarkable story of Louis Zamperini to the big screen. We beat him by making it to the end of the war alive. To persevere, I think, is important for everybody. Don't give up. Don't give in. There's always an answer to everything.